All right, once you have your page set up, now you can start customizing your site. So you have your pages, you have a home page, and you have whatever pages you want to add to your site. Um, then you can double click, and then you get, you can embed a website, add a picture, upload something from your computer, add text, or add something from your drive. You can also start playing with the theme. So if you click on themes, you can click on a color. If you want to change the theme of your site or the layout of your site, so you can choose one of the ones that's already here. Um, if you look at the first one, there's a little bucket here. That means you can add a special color, like a special color that you really, really like. Um, that's called the hex code. And I have a tutorial for that. So if you can look through my YouTube channel, I'll link it here to this video as well. Um, but it's up to you. You can just choose one of the pre-made ones. It's probably easier that way. All right. Now, let's say that you want to change the background picture. Um, there's different types of headers. So there's the title only header, the banner, and the large banner. I like the just regular banner. You can add an image. So you can either upload or select an image. So you can just go and look through the gallery and add an image, or you can search the internet for a picture that you like. Um, I'll show you both. So here's the gallery. Let's say we want this one, right? That can be your um, image. And see this little, these little stars here? That makes it dimmer or brighter depending on the, Google tries to adapt it to your readability. So you can take that off if you don't like it. It really depends on your graphic. If you want to upload your own image, um, Tony Vincent has a custom cover page dimensions on his Twitter page. And for Google Sites, he recommends 1920 by 1920 for the large banner and 1920 by 1080 for the regular banner. Um, I've used the regular banner for both and it works just fine. Um, so you can try that and you can upload your own banner. So let's say you already created your own banner then you would go to image upload and then you would click on your banner so okay, so let's say this is my banner so i'm going to open it and here your banner um will appear so you would have to delete this text on top and see how the readability is kind of like a white overlay. So I want to click these here to remove that readability adjustment, but it's the color that I want um, in terms of brightness, right? So that's how I would add it here. Um, you can also do the same if you add a new section. So let's say that I added two placeholders here, then I can add an emphasis or I can add an image so I can upload an image here or make it darker, darker or brighter. I remember how in your theme you can change the color, right? So I can always change it to match whatever colors I have or just keep it simple white. So that's how you insert a header um, and how you can insert different things into your site. So images, documents, text, websites, or something from your drive. So you can insert it here. You have your layouts here and then you have your different items right under that. Now remember that if you want to save these changes, you have to click publish, right? And if you want to review something or preview it, you click on preview. And you can see what it would look like so far.